track. The next uh, really important tool, I would say after a profiler, this is definitely uh, the number two tool that I tend to use, which is the Windows Performance Monitor. This lets you uh, get graphical information on system counters. You can get real-time data or also data from log files. In Vista, it looks again a little different. Uh, there's a thing called Resource Overview that gives you real-time data on CPU, disk, and network. Uh, the charts uh, can be either line, histogram, or uh, report format. You can add multiple physical counters to gather tons of information, and some of these are specific to SQL Server. We will take a look at a handful of important counters next. One thing you will notice about the performance counter is that there are a lot of them. So trying to figure out which you want to use can be a little uh, confusing and also uh, it depends on what you're trying to get. But here's a few that I think are important as they relate to SQL Server. Uh, the first one is the CPU, which is the processor, which is the percent processor time. Same thing we saw in the uh, task manager. It essentially tells you the percent of CPU being utilized, and it should be really less than 50%. If your uh, database server is uh, mostly around 90, 100%, then uh, you have a bottleneck in that area. The next uh, category is memory. Um, and the two that I like there are uh, available M bytes, uh, which this is the uh, amount of megabytes the memory available for new processors. So the more uh, the memory, the better. The next one is uh, pages per second. This tells you how many times the virtual memory is being accessed. Uh, and this should, I believe, be uh, lower than 20. As far as the uh, disk um, category, uh, you can look at percent disk time, which is similar to processor time. And greater than 90% is bad. Um, and another important one is the average disk queue length. This shows the number of uh, I.O operations that are uh, waiting for the disk and uh, greater than 2 is bad for that. Finally we have the some SQL Server counters and I just listed three here. One is uh, the full scans per second and any value like 1 or 2 is bad. This shows you if you're not using indexes and you're using a table scan. Uh, the next one is the buffer cache hit ratio and this should be above 90% and it uh, shows you that uh, you are indeed using uh, buffer cache. And finally, we have the uh, counter relating to locks, which is the average wait time. And this should also be low. So um, let's switch to performance monitor. I do have this running down here because uh, I actually went ahead and set some of the values. So the first thing is um, the reliability and performance. As far as launching it, uh, I can show you quickly how to get that. Get there. You do start control panel and Vista, and then uh, here's the uh, here's what you would click to get to the performance monitor. It says uh, performance information. So jumping back to the uh, the view in the reliability and performance, you'll notice that uh, we have nice visual on the top. And then we have tabs down here, so you can see my CPU is uh, pretty active. If I wanted to get more information, I could click here, and it'll tell you, okay, which uh, you know which areas are taking uh, a lot of the CPU. Uh, some of these are Windows processors processes that are running. Uh, I've I've got my Camtasia, that's the one I'm using for recording, so that gives you the CPU. The next one is the, the, the disk information, and it looks like I'm using about uh, anywhere from 50 kilobytes per second to look like 400, and again, uh, it's telling you the number of reads, uh, bytes per minute, write, uh, bytes per minute, response time, which file is uh, using that process, so a lot of information right off the bat. Uh, similarly, you have the network and memory and some of the other tabs. I'm going to actually go ahead and select the uh, performance monitor tab here. And uh, this is really important as it relates to SQL Server. 
Now what we have here is a graphical view uh, of some of these monitors that are, I already selected. Uh, so down here you'll notice I have the percent processor time which is uh, it gives you the color so that's the red. Then I have the amount of uh, available and bytes which is actually hard to see it's up here but if you can't find it on the graph you can uh, click on this uh, little pencil and it'll tell you where that is. So it looks like it's way on the top which means uh, that we have a lot of available bytes which is a good thing. In the middle here it will tell you uh, what was the last value, what's the average, minimum, maximum. So that kind of gives you uh, uh, distinct values. Then I'm also looking at the buffer hit cache ratio uh, which seems to be up on the top too and uh, looks like the it's about 100% so that's great. Full scans. Um, right now the value is pretty low. Uh, I'm going to actually go ahead and run some queries next which will move this uh, value. So the average right now is 0.18 which is great because it should be less than 2. And Then finally I'm looking at page reads per second uh, and as you can tell there's not a whole lot going on also. As far as adding a counter you can click on plus and maybe uh, maybe we can add one more here and uh, you'll notice that there's a there are a lot of counters here uh, and you'll notice all of a sudden I'm seeing MSSQL named instance I actually have another instance running on this machine so that was relating to that and then uh, down here we say we see SQL server so let's go ahead and actually uh, maybe we can uh, select this counter SQL Server databases okay and then I'm uh, really interested in adventure work so I will select that and then click add that didn't add anything so let me try that one again SQL Server databases uh, or let's just do this total one that doesn't seem to be working so I'm going to actually pick something else let's pick SQL Server transactions or errors maybe user errors Somehow it's not letting me add. I will have to take a look at that later. I, I'm not sure why it's not letting me add, but we will just uh, let's just work with the ones we have already, and then. Uh, what I'm going to do next is actually going to switch to Management Studio, which is uh, if you don't know how to get there, you go to Start, All Programs, SQL Server 2008, and then Management Studio. So I already have this running. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, I've created a table called Sales.Customer underscore All Table, and this is uh, essentially a copy of the uh, Sales.Customer table from AdventureWorks. I have created a number of records in there so I'm going to just go ahead and do a regular select count and while that is running I will switch to the performance monitor. Monitor. So notice now this sort of like was our baseline okay so our CPU was around 40 uh, percent and uh, the pages page reads were down really low and all of a sudden notice that this value is uh, moving up as I uh, started to run that and then I will go ahead and actually switch to another query in, in this query what I'm doing is I've set up a uh, let's go to the top it says using a while loop to select data from sales.customer underscore all with a one second delay and so this is a very read intensive operation uh, I'm using essentially a loop and here is my main query 
uh, I'm just saying select star from the table where modified date is in this range and customer ID is less than 7100 so and as far as looping I will loop this uh, 20 times okay and in between my runs I'm going to go ahead and wait for one second so let's go ahead and parse this query and then I will go ahead and run this and then let's switch to uh, performance monitor and now see what happens notice that your number of reads uh, initially when we were looking at these uh, I think this was right around zero now the average is uh, 37 per second so definitely we're getting a little more activity uh, looks like the buffer cache hit ratio is still pretty good processor time has moved up uh, a little bit uh, it's right around average used to be around 50 now it's about 80 and looks like the look look at the average number it's starting to go up also now while this is running I'm actually gonna give it a little bit more and I will uh, here we essentially have similar concept I'm using a while loop to insert data from sales.customer to sales.customer all and then I'm doing an update and for this one I'm actually uh, waiting three seconds in between so the query looks similar to the other one this time I'm just doing an update to the uh, to the table and uh, the table has close to I think three million rows now so it's a, it's a good size table and I will go ahead and run this one this is still running so now we should definitely uh, be seeing more activity and we do I mean our processor last time I looked was at 50 percent and now it looks like it at uh, 75 percent number of bytes available is still pretty good buffer uh, cache is okay full scans seems to be coming up a little bit Uh, this query stopped so I'm going to go it said query executed successfully so I'm going to go ahead and run this again 